Hey guys, welcome to Excel channel. Now we are moving forward to financial functions and formulas in Excel. So first video was about the overview of these functions like PMT, NPR, rate and etc. So in this video, we are going to explore PMT function. So you are going to learn the basics and to the advanced functionality of this function. Also, we will add two more function to this which is ppmt which is the principal part of the payment and ipmt which is the interest part of the payment you're gonna learn so much in this video if you are looking for this video then please follow on in upcoming minutes you're gonna learn so much about pmt function in excel so if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do it because in upcoming days we are going to explore more and more functions about finance statistics mathematical and much more in this channel so let's get started so here we have a uh, three blocks here as you know pmt function is a financial function that returns the periodic payment for a loan but we can use this function in various scenarios like here we have the payment calculator which we are gonna use it for the loan purposes and we have the mortgage payment and if you have such scenarios in your daily excel life then this video is gonna be very useful for you and next part will be the annuity payment and if you have something related to the annuity you should consider this video also and fourth part will be the ppmt which is the principal part how to extract only the principal part except the interest in excel using ppmt function and the next will be the ipmt which is the interest part and don't want to add or you want to exclude a principal part and only just want to know the interest part then keep following this video so in the first part we are going to calculate this particular nice table here we have a pa payment calculator so in the first part we are going to calculate payment for loan so as we have done in the over video which is very straightforward and here we are also going to do the same so we have a loan amount of three hundred thousand dollars or rupees or however you want to say and we have a rate of interest which is an annual so six percent is annual rate of interest okay and the loan period is 40 months here so and loan period as you can see is npr the number of periods which is always in the months so here we have a 40 months which is three years four months so face value is zero because nothing is yet paid off so face value is zero here so let's find out the annual payment here so if you want to practice that with me you should download the sheet which is given in the description box if you don't find that then you should log on to exceltutorial.net to find all the excel templates there so here we have a handle payment let's just write the pmt function so here in we have three main ingredient you can say or you can say uh, argument of this function which is first is rate so rate is this because we are calculating the annual payment here so we don't need to divide by 12 or something and here next we have the NPER, which is the number of periods which is 40 and the next is pv which is the present value or you can say principal amount which is three hundred thousand dollars and we don't need a face value here if you want to include the face value also you can include that because if after a particular months you your face values changes right and you should include that in your formula for efficiency so let's just close it down here let's see if we get the answer so we get the minus nineteen thousand nine three eight and four six as an alum payment so here if you want to calculate a quarterly payment or monthly payment that's where the tricky parts come in how so you must be wondering why it is a negative value here see if the fifth or i can say the fifth part is like fv which is the face value if it's omitted or you can say a zero value which means it is assumed that payments are due at the end of the period okay so we pay off a loan of three lakhs here or you can say three hundred thousand which is in the positive part here we receive that amount right and we make annual payment of minus nineteen thousand nine three eight which is in the negative part hope you understand what i'm trying to say here 
and now if we want a quarterly payment here as you know the six percent rate of interest is annual rate of interest and if we want to calculate the quarterly payment here we need to divide the rate by four because there are four quarters in a year so to calculate the rate of interest in the same way we need to divide this by four i'm just copying this formula uh, here and just dividing the rate by four so let's see if we get the answer yes we get the answer the quarterly payment will be ten thousand twenty eight so negative part is like we are going to pay that amount so it will be a negative because you are entering that amount in your own perspective but if you want to make it a positive you can use abs function as well so as a monthly payment as we know six percent raise annual interest for the four 12 months so if you want to make it a monthly then you should do the same like we have done in the quarterly payment and you need to just divide b3 by 12 here and let's see if we get a monthly payment which is 8293.66 so hope you get the point how to calculate pmt here which is the payment calculator which we built right here so we are going to take a wild ride here because this was the first part which is the payment for loan and now in the next part we are going to play with more numbers which is mortgage payment calculator so for the mortgage payment calculator we have a nice block here and here we have a amount which is the same okay so we are not changing much of a number here but this demonstration is only a let you have a grip on these functions so amount is this the interest is six percent and we have a term which is 10 let me just say it is in years okay let me just remind you that so down payment is 30 percent here so down payment we have got a 30 percent here and the down payment we need to down find the down payment here okay so you must have the guidelines outline about these such numbers but rest you need to find the down payment will be very easy right like this and there you go so down payment will be 90,000 it's very straightforward okay so what we have done here is we have just multiplied the amount with the down percent such that we can find the down payment amount and so amount loan will be the amount minus down payment here so there we go there you go so amount loaned here will be two hundred and ten thousand dollars rupees or however you want to convey so now we are going to find the monthly payment here so you should emphasize on the part monthly here okay like we have done here so just pause the video here let me see if you can perform such calculation by yourself just pause the video here and do that with me by finding the monthly payment here using only and only PMT function. So let's get to the answer. Hope you find that. So here is the PMT function here. So we have a rate here. So rate is 6%. So I am assuming that it's an annual. So we divide by 12 here. Why? Because we are finding a monthly payment here. And in the next part, we have a number of periods which should be in months but we have in years so you just need to multiply that number with the number of months in an year so you must know <laughs> how many number of months are there in a year so here you go by 12 and in the next part we have a principal amount here so the present value of amount to be loaned is this right and just close it down but we have a one more concept which I am going to cover in the following minute. So let's see what it says. So it says minus 2331 rupee here. So you can change that if using the format cells here and go to the format cell like this and make it your own currency right here like I am doing with the dollar part. So, so mortgage rates are annual here right and the terms are stated in years. The argument for the rate and periods are registered in this example using by 12 or multiply by 12 itself. So the present value comes from this, right? And this is the present value because we have 
paid the down payment here so present value have come from this so if you want to make it a positive number because since a loan represents money owed so money owed is a cash outflow so this is a cash flow outflow that's why it's in negative amount here but if you want to make it a positive here you can just put a minus sign here operator so it make it a positive here. hope you understand how this particular function works and if you want to make it a positive you can also use the abs function also which we have covered in the lookup functions also so that was the second part where we have calculated the mortgage payment in excel using pmt function here and in the next part we are leveling up our game and going to the annuity here so annuity is you must be wondering the word annuity annuity is this plan that helps you to get a regular payment for life after making a lump sum investment so it's a part of your investment right to get certain amount after some years so the goal in this example is to have three hundred thousand dollars or rupee or however you want at the end of 10 years here so goal here is to get the face value or you can say the future value of three hundred thousand dollars at the end of 10th year here okay so we are getting the interest of six percent hope you're getting my point so we are going to find a uh, annuity due payments which are made at the beginning of the period is 10 of the end okay so you must just go through the terminology of such terms of such scenarios like annuity what is annuity what is present value which is future value and something like that but if you are from the banking background then you must be aware of this so we are going to find the annual payment we get in this function so what we are gonna do here is to put the pmt function here so annual payment we are gonna get at the end of the every year how much is gonna be so for the first year we are gonna find that annual payment okay so we have a rate percent which is this which is i think is straightforward so terms so we are getting the annual payments here so we are considering that as an year so we don't need to apply you know into 12 months because annuity payment is for the as the name suggests annuity so it's meant for the annual so i'm just assuming these terms are for the yearly part so we are not going to divide or multiply by 12 here so in the next present value better value should be the zero here because it's just starting it out and the future value is this which is b14 right and in the next part so it says at the end of the period or beginning of the period so it, these are the two concepts which we are going to cover so in the first part i what i'm gonna do is to do the end of the period part so let me see how much we are getting so we are getting 22,760 at the end of the period here so we have covered the neck or last optional part here at the end of the period and the beginning of the if you want to find the beginning of the period so you can just go and edit and add one here as formula says like this so you just need to enter so you get at the beginning of the period here so hope you understand how to find the annuity payment using pmt function here so if you ha still have some problem to calculating or something like that then you should put the comment in the comment box below and one of our representative will help you to assist further okay so don't be shy just type it out your question we will try our best to answer you your queries so the next part will be will be very interesting for you because this will be the another function which is called ppmt function so let me just enter that function here let see what it does say so ppmt here okay so let's read it out what it says it says to return the payment on the principal for a given investment based on the periodic constant payments and a constant interest rates here so consider a loan with an annual interest of like six percent okay and we have already found the monthly annually and quarterly payment here right we can use ppmt function in excel calculate the principal part of the payment only i'm emphasizing only the principal part of the payment so let's see 
the arguments of such function let me just put it a header here principal part so let's just enter our ppmt here so we have a rate which is six percent i think it's understandable but we needed to do monthly rate so we are going to divide that by 12 here and in the next part it says per so what does the per mean per means which period or you can say which month of principal amount you want to know so in our case let's just randomly pick any number like a sixth period of the payment or you can say sixth month of the period payment here so next will be the NPER, which is the number of periods, which is 40 here. And if PV will be the same here. So let's just put the face value like zero and close it down. Let's see if we can find it or not. So we found out that 6965 will be the principal amount except rate here. Okay. It only emphasizing the principal amount. I hope you understand my point. What is the principal? Principal amount will be the whole PMT, whole payment minus rate here, or you can say interest amount. So in the next part, we are going to cover IPMT, which is interest only payment, which means interest part of the payment. So we have covered the principal part and now we are going to discover the interest part. So interest part is very similar here. Let me just write the formula here. So it says the same arguments as we have done for the PPMT, but it only revert back the interest part of the payment. So rate will be this divided by 12 because we just because we know this is the annual rate of interest. So per will be the same like the, we have used in the principal part, the sixth payment and the NPR will be the same. So we have a principal value, which is also the same here and the face value let's just assume it's zero and let's see if it does revert back us uh, answer so it says the interest part will be 1328 for the sixth period of our loan here so if we add both here we get the whole payment which is the pmt hope you understand what does the interest part of payment means what does the principal part of the payment means and if you have learned something from this video please click the like button and if you want to watch more functions like this then you should click the subscribe button to follow along all the videos we are we are going to upload in upcoming months and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please and if you want to share this video to your colleague friends or family then use the share button so see you in the next video until then bye bye